guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to do this makeup. I'm just doing a chat to get ready with me today. Just a little update for you guys, talking about nonsense, doing some makeup, using some new stuff, some old stuff. Just um, all good things, you know. If you'd like to see how I create this look, stay tuned. Hi guys, let's do this. I'm not well. I've caught Jack's stinky cold. So y'all are going to have to bear with me. So today I thought we would just do get ready with me and let's just start. I'm going to be using some new stuff. Exciting. This is the first thing I'm going to use. It is the Pure Miracle Mist Hydrate and Set. I got given this. I got a PR package from Pure. Mmm. Oh my goodness. This stuff smells like a spa. It's super hydrating. Gives you that nice glow. All the good stuff. Um, now I'm going to go in with the Kiehl's Daily Reviving Concentrate. You guys know I love this stuff. I'm going to just press it into my skin like huge. So give it a little rub in with my hands and then I'm just going to pat. And this stuff's just been amazing. Excuse this. That's my fault. You know me and my picking. Uh, also excuse, uh, we're, we're one man down. Basically what happened, Drogba wasn't very well so we took him to the vets and the vet had to do a little up his bum and he was mortified and I had to hold him and comfort him and stuff like that and then um, I lost a nail in the process. Mmm. So immediately my skin looks much better. Now we're going to go in with the Wonder Glow from Charlotte Tilbury. I've used this a few times as well but again it is actually quite new to me. Mmm. Just going to rub that in. So guys, updates. Updates, updates. I have braces that are under my teeth. They're incognito braces. I am actually vlogging my journey. So you can look forward to that in a couple of months time, or a few months time I should say, because that's how long they take. So they're like super high speed. But excuse my slight lift. It can't be helped. Apparently someone messaged me and were like, don't worry, your tongue's gonna hurt, your teeth are gonna hurt a wee bit, and you'll probably get a lift, but it will go away. So I'm just kinda working through it at the moment. I did my brows off camera because I actually did them like the olden days. I used my Charlotte Tilbury brow lift, but then I actually went round them with Kevin Corn, which is what I used to use all the time. Um, and yeah, I really like them. They're a wee bit thicker and a wee bit darker than usual, but you know, changing, changing things up. For my skin, I'm going to go in with the Xmetics CC Cream. If you have me on Instagram, you'll know that this is my new favourite thing. It is SPF 50 colour correcting full coverage cream and anti-aging hydrating serum. So my skin actually, again I say this all the time, my skin's actually been really really great. Uh, that's my fault because I wouldn't leave it alone and then it's grown into a spot. Uh, I take two pumps on the back of my hand so it's actually not that much. My shade is medium and you get 32 mils of product in the tube. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my little dot thing with my little nailless finger all over. So I asked on Twitter, I was like, guys, what would you like to see from me? And you said, a lot of people said just chat get ready with me, which is fine because I love doing them. Um, a couple of people said full coverage, so this is actually totally full coverage. Um, and also because I'm not feeling my best, caught Jack's stinky cold, this will be good because it's going to make me feel tons better. And then a lot of you guys were asking for a full face drugstore tutorial. I actually... I'm so up for that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna suss that out and I'm gonna do a video and it's all gonna be all my drugstore favourite things. What do you think? So basically I've just dotted that all over so it's nice and spread out. I'm gonna use a brush to blend it in. This is actually the Heavenly Skin CC Skin Perfecting number 702 It Cosmetics brush. Now look at this. Is that not amazing? So I've been wearing this pretty much every day since I got it, since I tried it. I was nervous to use it because it's a CC cream and obviously I like a foundation, I like it to be full coverage, but then I read the tube. You know what I'm like with reading tubes, I don't usually do it. But I read the tube and it said full coverage. I was like, how on earth can a CC cream be full coverage? And it bloody is. I flipping love it. It photographs beautifully. It's so dewy. It's just amazing. I don't know how I've not tried it before. I remember there was a big hype about it. I'm going to use a smaller brush just to get in between my little eyebrows. I remember there was a huge hype about it. It was like one of those like YouTube things, wasn't it? And everyone wanted it. But I'm just late. Like, I missed the boat so many times. I always miss out. I'm just here to reinforce the good reviews because I love it. And I'm just using the excess in the back of my hand just to push into my nose area. How great is that? Oh, I love it. I know, right? It's so nice. For concealer, I'm going to use the Tarte 
Amazonian clay waterproof 12 hour concealer and it's got a new tube. Look at this. It's like a lipstick. It looks like a lipstick. So I'm going to try this out under my eyes. Mmm. And I'm going to actually do it everywhere. Right, I like I like that application a whole lot. And I'm actually just going to blend it in with this brush as well. Wow. Right, I like that. My braces have been amazing, I'm not going to lie. The two days after I got them fitted, this is the third day, pretty sore. Pretty sore. If you've had braces before though, you'll remember, like, your teeth are moving. Of course it's going to hurt. But today, they're actually a lot better. But I just sound ill. Oh my god, the dewiest. I'm going to go in with my little nailless finger and just apply my laying low up to the concealer because obviously I've carved my brows out already so I'm just going to apply that up to the concealer and I'm going to actually go underneath my eye as well. Cool! And then I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder and I'm going to go underneath my eyes and over my eyes just to set everything. And I've been doing this instead of baking and it's been working really fab. So, a quick update for you guys. Me and Jack are actually in the process of mm, trying to move house. So everything's a wee bit up in the air at the moment, but we started packing just in case. So all my makeup's literally in boxes behind there, which is really stressing me out. And um, we're, yeah, we're just slowly working through the whole house, getting rid of all the crap we've collected by accident and just packing everything up. I'm really, really, really excited, but oh my goodness, moving house and trying to buy a house and trying to do all the stupid paperwork and stuff is probably the most stressful thing I've ever done in my entire life. It's probably why I'm sick, because every day I've been working away, trying to get stuff done. It's been really crazy. So now that we've done that, I actually want to try this blusher out as well. I'm gonna contour my face with my MAC Dark Tan Bronzer. I used to use this all the time. I've not used it in a wee while, so I'm really liking it. And I'm just using my Smith 112 brush, fave. And I'm just gonna go on top, and obviously I've not powdered this CC cream, but all the powder's going so beautifully on top of it. And this just really warms up my skin. I don't know how, but this CC cream honestly is like perfect match for me. It's really great. I am so excited about the feedback that I got from my kind of more creative makeup on Instagram. That was so exciting. So I'm really buzzing to do more kind of creative stuff again. Because if you remember, my Instagram, I used to do creative stuff all the time. And then I worked in Onyx when I was doing clients. And then I just got into a bit of a rut when I was just doing glam makeup all the time, smoky eyes all the time. So it was really, really fun to do something a wee bit more creative. Let me know if you ever want me to do tutorials on more creative stuff. Obviously, I know it's not as popular and people don't really care as much about it as looking beat. But if you really want to see it, then I'll do that for you guys. But it's, a, it's one of those funny ones to film because it's just a, it's like a creative process. It's not the kind of thing I can plan out. I just kind of sit down with loads of makeup and I'm like, Okay, let's do some, let's do some wacky stuff. So I'm just bringing this bronzer down my neck because I've actually worn my face up a whole bunch. One of the reasons I like doing my bronzer and stuff on top of fresh foundation is that you can always move it around afterwards. Yeah, that's good. I kind of like to go right up to the brow, even though I've finished my brows already, and just scoop out in there. If you guys watch Sandra Deluxe, she is the queen of the nose contour. I've actually been watching tons of people on YouTube lately. People that I've met and stuff, but it's been amazing. It's been really inspiring seeing what they're doing. I've been watching I Love Sarai. I've been watching Karen's videos. I've been watching, obviously, Desi and Katie. Sam. She uploaded literally today, and I've watched it already. And it's hilarious. It's her boyfriend buying her makeup. And then she has to do a face with it. So I think me and Jack are going to do it, because that's just so funny. Good. Okay, I got this new blush shirt from Benefit. It is the California. California. I'm going to apply a little bit of this blush. I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Powder and Sculpt brush and I'm just going to get a little touch of this. Mmm. Oh, it smells like holidays. And I just applied that above my bronzer. Just to make my contour a wee bit more sharp, I'm going to use the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in the shade Medium. And I'm just going to use that just right at the back, and I'm back to my Smith 112 brush. So, apart from just working away here, I have, I know, I don't think it's been released yet, but I will be doing a class in Scotland at the beginning of April. Eyes and ears open for that. And then I'm actually away to Los Angeles next month. I think it's in like three weeks time. Wait, what day is it? Oh my God, it's like two weeks. Two weeks today. 
two weeks today I'm going to Los Angeles. So I'm really, really excited about that. Of I miss LA so much. I love LA. <laughs> the weather, the food, the people. I just really enjoy it. And then I'm actually away to LA again the following month. Jack's staying at home with the poochie pants on these trips. I'm excited as well because Jack's actually going to be travelling a wee bit more with me. Yeah, we're going to be working together a little bit more. He's going to be helping me filming that. Oh, I didn't even tell you what I'm using. Too much into the chat. I'm going in with my glow kit, my sun dip glow kit. I don't know why I stopped using this, but it's it's really stunning. And I'm just going in with these two colours here. Boop, 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 boop. And my fan brush from Dose of Colours. Like, it's amazing. I don't know why I stopped using it. I'm just bringing it right down and then I'm going to flip my fan brush up and just blend that up towards my temples. After watching Katie Luster Lux's video, I've stopped highlighting the end of my nose because this makes my nose look slimmer. So I'm going to go in with this, these shades mixed together again and I'm going to just go down the bridge of my nose. So it's glowy but it's not pure crazy crazy glowy and I obviously need to do my cupid's ball. Cute! Okay, time to do it, eyes. I've got no flipping idea what I'm going to do. So, I have two palettes here. I've got the Modern Renaissance palette and I've got the Pastel Goth palette. And I'm going to actually use a bit of both. I got given this as PR, which is really, really fab and I'm really grateful. And I used it yesterday and I used these three colours and it was really, really cute. I think this is the kind of palette you would use for a pop of colour. Or if you're loving colour, then I suppose you can mix all the colours together and do like yellow underneath and bright on top or whatever. It's a little bit scary. So, I'm just going to use a pop of colour, I'm not sure what one yet, but I'm going to use this to build up a kind of neutral base and then I'm going to use one of these colours, so I'll zoom you in. Hey guys, it's me. So I've already mattified my lid etc. I'm going to go in with the shade here and I'm going to mattify my lid once more, one more time. So tell me guys, what have you been up to? What are you loving? Who are you loving? Where are you been? Who are you seen? Just give me a little update below. Let me know what is what. Because it's been a while since I did a try to get ready with me. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Raw Sienna. Boop. And I'm just going to build up that crease. Jack's away at the moment. He is getting ingredients for us to make a curry tonight. I cooked dinner. I know. I don't know what's happening to me. I'm domesticated. And we didn't get sick. It was actually like filling, healthy. And yeah, I've just been eating really healthy. I've not been eating any crap. Not really anyway. And yeah, I've just been trying to eat super healthy and just, you know, fuel my body. So if you've got, if there's any Instagram accounts that you guys love that are like inspiring for like body and fitness and healthy eating, please let me know below because I'm following them all and I'm just, every day I'm waking up pumped. I'm just using my 224 brush from MAC by the way and I'm just blending that up towards my brow and I've actually really missed the way things blend when you do cut your brows out with concealer and I'm just going to smudge that right out and wing it up. Ah, oh, these shadows are so stunning. I really do recommend the Modern Renaissance palette to anybody who is like a makeup lover because it's just beautiful. <gasps> I know what I'm going to do with my eyes. I'm going to go in with a wee bit of Real Gar here, which is just like a really nice orangey shade. And I'm going to... So today is really miserable. It's really, really raining. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do. I know that I want to go shopping for some drugstore makeup. If there's... Oh, good question for you guys. Is there anything from the drugstore makeup that you love to bits that you think I should get and try? Because I do have a fair collection, but I want more. I want more so I can create more toots, more tutorials for you guys. If my lisp is bothering anyone, I'm really sorry because it's bothering me. It's so annoying, but I can't can't be helped. Oh, I may as well mention the real the reason I've got braces is because this tooth. It's actually moved already, but this tooth used to sit pretty far back and in some lighting and in some photos it looked like I had a dark tooth because the front teeth would cast a shadow over it and it just really bothered me and my smile as well is lopsided. So if when I'm talking you'll see that this side of my mouth moves more than this side. Um, it's nothing to do with lip injections, by the way. It's just uh, the way my face is, it's always been like that. Uh, lip injections maybe accentuate it just a slight, a slight bit. So yeah, my teeth being straight will I think make a difference to me. And it's difficult because literally when I'm editing I'm staring at my own face for about an hour and it's hard, it's hard not to criticise and kind of scrutinise your flaws and insecurities. <laughs> That's looking warm and smoky isn't it? I'm going to swap into the Pastel Goth palette and I'm actually going to use the shade Gloom. This beautiful green and I'm going to put it underneath my eyes. And I've got green eyes so it might be quite cool. Oof day. Yeah it's kind of Oh, I quite love that. I think this is the easiest way to get a pop of colour without looking 
like too nuts without like out of your comfort zone if you know what I mean. Because I know quite a lot of people that are similar to me, they love a natural, they love a neutral I should say, not natural. I'm going to swap into a fluffy brush, this is my Zoeva 228 crease brush and I'm going to get in that green colour and I'm just going to really buff that out. Mmm, do you love it? Holy shit, have I been out of focus this whole time? I'm just going to leave that in autofocus and you can tell me what happens, guys. Okay, maybe that'll work. Right, that's really bright in real life, so I'm going to stop there at the moment. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Cypress Umber, which is just here. And I'm going to darken up my lash line. Yep, I'm digging it. Look at me, guys. I'm like a flipping rainbow. And then I'm just going to blend that out again with my little brush. I quite love that. And I'm just going to go in with Real Gar again, the really warm shade on the top. Yeah, so when me and Jack move house, I think it's going to be like our forever home. So I'll actually be able to do it up and we're going to vlog moving in and we're going to vlog doing it up and we're going to do like progress reports on the house when we're getting stuff done. It's going to be just really, really fab. I'm really flipping excited. Uh, I'm going to put pack that lighter shadow on all over my lid. Oh, that's got a little bit of highlight on it. Okay. Okay, that's fine. And I actually, I've been thinking about this, but I think I would quite like to do Vlogmas this year. I know it's like 10 months away, but I've been watching Helen Anderson and her vlog channel is Anders and she vlogs every day. I do not know how she vlogs every day. That's amazing. But um, they're all really, really nice as well. They're really nice to watch, nice and artistic. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it this year. I'm going to plan it. I've just used the shade Vermeer on the inner corner as we highlight. And now let's chuck some mascara on this bad boy. I'm going to use Big Look Mascara from Pure again. I know I've used it in the last few of my videos, but personally, when I'm watching YouTubers, I don't mind if they reuse products because usually I've got the products that they've said because they've recommended them. So if I get a few looks out of the product, then that's great. I'm just putting this mascara all over my lashes. I like this mascara a lot. It just doesn't come off. And I'm going to do my bottom lashes, which is slightly trickier, isn't it? Let's get a little mirror. The lashes I'm going to use are Pure Pro Eyelashes, and they're cruelty free as well. They look like mink lashes. This is the style trendsetter. They look like mink lashes but they're actually made of silk so they're cruelty free. So if you guys are wanting mink style lashes but of not mink then these are fab and I've actually used these this style like three times already and they still look brand new which is great. Where am I going? Where am I going? I know a few guys you... Blah, 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 blah. What I was saying Jack just got home he's putting the shopping away. Wrecking ball look. Things. What I was saying is that it's just not feasible recording a full tutorial in that filter. So what I'll do for you when I'm waiting for my lashes to dry. <sighs> I've actually not done this yet today so it's actually time. Hi guys, it's me. Hi guys, it's me. There you go, there's a little bit. <coughs> Jack, there is all uneven. Yeah, I've been banished. Out my face. I'm a face, I'm a face. So annoying. I'm going to stick these lashes on. They are ready. Immediately I look 10 times better. That's crazy. So I've just sat them on pretty much. I need to clean this up. Okay, I'm going to zoom you out. Ta -da! What I'm going to do is I'm going to get my little tart applicator thing and I'm just going to squeeze my lashes. And then I've just given my lashes a good squeeze and then that's them on for good. All that's left to do is my lippies. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. It's been a while. I'm going to use Kat Von D Bone Arrow. And I'm going to use, oh, wrong liner. And I'm going to use my Illamasqua Slick Stick. Wow, that's a good thing to say if you've got a freaking lisp, isn't it? I'm going to use the 
Slick Stick from Illamasqua in the shade Dream. And I'm gonna do my lip liner first. And if you watch, I'm actually gonna do overdraw them in a different way. So I'm gonna go under here. And then I'm gonna go over my lip. And then see instead of doing my cupid's bow, I'm just gonna cut straight across. And then follow my lip line down the sides. And that's how I've been overdrawing them recently. Just like on the very top. And now we're gonna go in with the shade Bow and Arrow from Kat Von D. You all know I love it. Oh, I love it. Oh shit, need to do this a little bit. Ta-da! And then I'm gonna use my Pure Spray again. And my face is literally soaking wet. And then I'm just gonna Dry it off. Woo! Oh, I feel like I could go brighter with the green. That's annoying. Let's try it. Oh, yeah. So I've just gone in with one more little layer of the green eyeshadow, and then I'm going to do one last little layer of mascara because more is more. And then I actually need to do my little beauty spot. Okay, guys, that's the finished look. Woo! That was my chat to get out of me. I love you all. And other than that, I will see you in the next video. Bye. How sad is that stupid wee finger?